Someone asked me one time, have you been bleaching? Oh, wh what happened there? I've realised you've got a mark here. Raw plantain before it's cooked, and that's what my face used to look like. It was actually so bad. <laughs> on something that I wish I had when I was younger and this is all to do with how I got clearer skin for under 30 pounds I didn't know what I was doing with my skin I was throwing everything on I was throwing nothing on and I just hope this video helps someone up there that needs the information so this is basically gonna start like a story time this started when I was around 16 no 14 to 16 years old so between year 9 and year 11 in secondary school or high school my skin let me just call her linda because i personify pretty much anything so linda she was like a roller coaster she was going up she was going down left right the macarena the one two step the cha-cha slide name any dance move and my skin was doing it it was dry then it was very oily there were pimples and then it was mattified scarring no scarring it was literally like boris johnson the uk prime minister and the coronavirus go to work don't go to work stay at home don't stay at home contract taste contact tasting t testing tracing forgive me contract contract contact it was just i didn't understand what was going on it was very confusing it was kind of at the same period where i had learned to do my eyebrows so it was one of those things where as soon as i had learned how to do these big nice eye nice eyebrows i have sparse eyebrows so when i had learned to do eyebrows i was just like yep yeah, there's no way no one's going to see me with natural eyebrows they look like they're not there. My eyebrows is another, makeup is another journey. I am not gifted in the makeup sector. I'm still not gifted in the makeup sector. I'm still asking the Lord to deliver my hands so I can actually do something that's sufficient. I would just always slap on makeup. I wasn't washing makeup off correctly. I was washing my face properly like every other day. Yes, every other day, it's disgusting. I would use my body lotion on my face because I'd say, yeah, my face is part of my body. I didn't know about facial products at all. When I left secondary school, I went to a sports college and I was living there and my skin was plummeting like Linda. She, you thought she was low, she got, oh, she was deep. She was near the core of the earth. It was horrible. Spots, scarring, I'd get agitated. So I'd pick my scars pick my spot sorry as they were healing so it'd like heal and then break until i reached out to one of my friends and i just said hey i know you're good with all the skin care stuff please help a sister out because this can't run anymore i was on every single medication i was on every single steroid that my gp could give me my body was just all my skin shall i say was just fighting these antibiotics was fighting these steroids it just was nothing was really working so she introduced me to the ordinary and she made me a routine and I wasn't really sticking to it and then complaining about the results. That doesn't make any sense. In secondary school, I didn't have the best skin. If you thought I had the best skin, listen, I'm a lie. I'm a fraud, I'm a fake. It wasn't good. When I left secondary school to go to sports college, it was even worse. I said, no, 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 no. We need to fix up. Let me show you pictures of my face because pics or it didn't happen. I couldn't find the worst photos. So imagine the photos I'm showing you, but on a very heightened scale. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't looking after my skin properly. I just thought I was a bad bee. I don't need moisturizers. I don't need cleansers, toners, facial wash. Who do I, who do I think I was? I really thought I was the bomb.com, but I am not. I am far from it. And I felt like I couldn't speak on these matters because I'm not a dermatologist. I don't do skincare. So let me share all the information and all the products that I used to get my skin clearer. So the first product that I have is the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I use this in the PM after washing my face. Trust me, when I say hell is real, it's real. Do you know how I know? Because when you put this on your face and you've got like open wounds on your face, oh boy, it stings. I don't like to listen to instructions. Don't use this on skin that has open wounds. Don't use this on skin that is very sensitive, it's not the best. After I finished washing my face, I'd use this, it takes off all the other excess dirt. It exfoliates my skin, but also, like I said, it's really sensitive, so apply sunscreen. Little note on the side, if you believe that you don't need SPF because you're black, or you don't need SPF because you're this shade, or this color, or this tone, it's a lie, no. Slap some SPF on, because you're gonna need it. When you're in the sun and you feel like you're roasting like bacon, don't come to me and say I didn't warn you. 
that's all I'm trying to say on that matter. So my camera is on automatic focus and it's really not helping me right now. But as you can see with the glycolic acid toning solution, there's only a little bit left. I love this. It is what, £6.80. For me, I had never bought skincare products before. This was the first time. So I just said, yeah, bargain. If my skin's feeling a bit irritated, I won't use it at night or I won't use it for two nights. But I love, oh, this. I love this and you just open it by twisting it and then you just pour some on your cotton pad. It got to a point when I first started using this, if I'm really honest, some people were really asking me, oh Rach, have you been bleaching? I don't bleach, but this, when I say it's strong, I went up three foundation shades. I don't know if that's because that's how much hyperpigmentation I had on my face, but I went up three. I bought a foundation, I went to Nigeria, I came back, and I went up, not down, I went up three shades. I don't know if it did too much, but yeah. I was looking like plantain. If you haven't seen what plantain is, I'm just gonna put a photo here. Plantain, raw plantain before it's cooked, that's what my face used to look like. I was willing to go through the plantain phase. Plantain planting, I don't know what you call it, but we can have that debate another time. I just went through it, but it was definitely worth getting to this phase now where I feel comfortable in my skin and my skin actually feels hydrated. The next product I have is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. What B5 is? I have no flipping clue. I have no clue what B5 is. I love this because it's a nice little dropper. All the products that I've got, I need to buy more of, I'm running out. So it's like a gloopy dropper. It helps hydrate my face and my face feels like it retains moisture a lot more. So I won't throw this everywhere, just in my dry areas. I haven't got the niacinamide, but I've used the niacinamide on my oily areas and it kind of just works to even them out. I'll put the niacinamide. <laughs> I'll put them on. <laughs> I don't know what percent it is, but the photo will be there from The Ordinary. These were all bought from, I think it's Desiem. I haven't bought it from Beauty Bay. I haven't bought it from any other site. That's, this one's good. I really love it. It was, what, 5 90 for this, and this was 6 80 So you're looking at the size and you're probably thinking, yeah, the price is a bit, mm, but for the clearing of my skin, I just said, yeah. I really forgot to do this in order. But this is what I use to wash my face. I don't know if this is the best face wash, but I have tried Clean and Clear Exfoliating Daily Wash. I do like it, but I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I bought this, the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Facial Wash in Pink Grapefruit. Pink Grapefruit, yeah. This is nice. I have my spin brush, hold on. Let me get my spin brush. Okay, so I bought this Pocket Rocket off Amazon. My hands are very tiny and it fits under my hand. So it's a very small portable one. It has seven heads, it has a roller, it has a small uh, brush, it has a big brush. So there's like a scrub one. I only use the big and small one. So this one had fallen in my makeup bag, that's why it's a little bit brown, but this is the soft bristle, br soft bristle one. You just turn it on like that and it has literally low, medium, high and it basically just clips on and that would pretty much be it no 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 that's not it i put creams on my face in terms of hydrating my face i have been given prescribed medication for it i'm like i said i've been given loads of tablets which didn't work but i currently use if i can find it where did i put it where did i put it this is the different 0.1 cream also known as a dapoline it comes as a cream and as a gel this is probably one of the things that I feel like in combination with the things that I've used has helped, but on its own it never helps because I was prescribed this when I was 13, 14. Like even when I went to my GP recently, I think it was last year before I finally got an appointment with a dermatologist, which failed by the way because of coronavirus. They told him about my skin and he chuckled and he was like, yeah, you came about the same problem when you were 13. I said, boy, you haven't listened to me. I've been coming. I've been like a crazy ex. So I kind of use my prescriptions on my face after I've gone through this. And then if I need to top it up with this SPF 30 sunscreen or another facial one, which I have. I'm so bad. I actually haven't got all the products here with me. My room is a state. I'm not even gonna lie to you and say, oh, I've run out of it. No, I really can't find it, my room's a mess. Another product that I use from time to time, every, I think I use it like two to three times a week. When to say you should use it? 
not recommended to use more than twice a week yeah i've definitely used it three times a week let me not lie this is the aha 30 percent and bha 2 percent peeling solution it literally looks like blood like it's gloopy it looks like blood and what i would do is i just use my fingertips and put this on my face and i leave it on for no longer than 10 minutes and then i just wash it off with warm water this gives you a nice even skin tone it definitely helps with blemishes when the first couple of times i used it it did sting a little bit i would definitely be purchasing the hyaluronic acid which isn't this the, <laughs> the hyaluronic acid the glycolic acid and the niacinamide so this is what my face looks like even when my sister or my friends take photos of me i say like back it up like back it up but this is what my face looks like now. This is the side of my face. I'd get loads of scarring here, which was so bad. I wanna make sure you can see it. Yeah, like here and on this side and my forehead. Like I've only done my eyebrows today. Uh, the moisturizer or the shine that you see on my face is from moisturizing this morning. So what's the time? The time's around. What's the time? What's the time? I used to have loads of scarring on my chin. I had scarring here. I even had scarring in the middle of my nose. My nose. As you can see, there's still a bit to work with and up here, but I'm happy with the progress. All of these good products, like I love them. I've never felt confident with showing my natural skin. I felt like every time I go to work, every time I'm in the gym, every time I'm on the track, I need to have at least concealer on to cover my i would just literally dab concealer on my dark spots and call it a day because i didn't want to show people how bad it actually was for me i didn't seek help i didn't ask someone to help me earlier never be afraid to ask it's actually okay if you've got skin that needs a bit of attention or you need some guidance definitely ask someone so you're not really alone in the process i hope it's not too long but it's just something quick that i would wanted to say just to help anyone out there that had skin like mine or had skin that was going through it try out the ordinary products i highly recommend it if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe i'll put a link to this spin brush to all of these goodies down in the bottom i will see you soon for another video